Hello everybody and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I have a bunch of new equipment and I'm really excited to show you. Now first I need to tell you that um, this isn't going to go as planned. Somehow I did the entire unboxing of all this stuff and camera one, this one, had stopped recording. Or I didn't click it right. I don't know. Either way, I take full blame for it. I'm an idiot. Um, so I have a bunch of the stuff top down from when I was doing the unboxing that I can share with you and we'll do that. But as far as this stuff, I don't have any of that. So uh, we're going to punt here and I'm trying to put something new together that will work. So today we're going to be taking a look at all of my new Elgato stuff. And I'm going to be replacing this camera, this microphone, and one of my arms that the microphone rests on, maybe. So I've got a lot of new stuff to, to show you. Let's dive into this. I'm really excited about this stuff for several reasons. One, um, I think it's going to be uh, interesting and fun. And two... I sometimes think you think I'm full of hot air because I, I post things on my community tab about stuff that I'm going to be doing for you. And then it takes a while for me to get to certain things. And I've been talking about some of the upgrading I'm going to do here at Fat Guy Productions. And this is all part of that. Okay. I use some stuff from Elgato. This is the Elgato Stream Deck. This is an amazing tool, uh, especially if you're doing live streams or stuff like that. When you're just a small time guy like me and you don't have an engineer or somebody working your streams and whatnot, this allows you to quickly, with the touch of a button, change your camera, add a graphic, switch to a feature, whatever. And all of these buttons can be customized so you know exactly what is what. So it's a simple matter. I'm on camera one, I look down, push the button, I'm on camera two. I want to start a feature, I come down, I push the button, I'm on the feature. So this is the Stream Deck by Elgato, and it is a fantastic tool. Um, love it. And then my main light right up there, my key light, is an Elgato key light, and I love it. It's bright, it's soft, it doesn't hurt my eyes. Um, love this thing. So yeah, I've used a couple things from Elgato. My favorite stands, and I don't know if you can see any of them, um, the stand that I have this camera up here on is one of their uh, amazing stands. Instead of just being three long arms that, that restrict your movement, this is a long telescoping arm and then a, a short arm, a short arm, a short arm, a short arm, and two little tiny arms. So I can build something that looks like this for my cameras. Any way I want my cameras to point and mount, these can do it. And so I really love my Elgato stuff. And they came out with a bunch of new stuff, and we're going to look at some of that right now. So basically, um, I've used a lot of... Logitech cameras. I've got one here. I've got one here. I've got one back there. I've got one in my paint booth. Right here, you're watching me through a Canon M50 uh, still camera and its video feature. Well, it's really big and bulky, and because I'm not using the uh, teleprompter that I have attached to it much anymore, I'm thinking of getting away from it because it's really big, it's bulky, it gets in the way, and I don't use half the features that it offers, but it needs two cords, it's heavy, um, there, there's a lot of reasons. So when I saw this face cam by Elgato, I said, I need to try that. Uh, and so when I saw the face cam here, I thought I could replace this and maybe this is the start of something new for me. This is full HD, low latency, Elgato Prime Lens, uh, premium full HD webcam. So here it is in its box. Uh, you see we got all this stuff on the side like I like. You know, it, this is beautiful, okay? This is how packaging should be. A really nice soft matte finish. Um, 
the box tells the story. I don't feel like this is going to be damaged in any way. And it excites me about what's inside here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a look at all this stuff so you know that I'm not just blowing smoke. And then this week I'll probably be uh, doing a lot of changeover. I'm going to uh, change a lot of things in here. And hopefully you'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a short uh, after everything's up and running so you can see it all in action before I start really using it and making videos. Okay, so here we go. Box, face cam, quick start guide. Okay, all right. So yeah, yeah. This is a, a USB cam. It's got its own little mount, but I won't be using that. It's got a privacy cap. Um, it has its own proprietary software. Uh, download and install the Elgato camera app. So that's nice. And you can use it for Zoom, Skype, MS Teams, Slack, OBS, Google Meet, Slobs, and FaceTime. Uh, let's see here. Supported resolutions up to 1080p. Uh, optics, it's got the Elgato Prime Lens, all glass. Focus range is uh, 11 to 47 inches, aperture f2.4. Focal length is 24 millimeters. Field of view is 82 degrees. So, um, yeah, that should should be a really nice thing. So we'll throw that over there and let's get into this. Yeah, so I put in a nice big Elgato order uh, in order to try and continue to enhance what I do for you guys. All right, this is some kind of wingy dingy. One wingy dingy. All right, this is just a, a cord. All right. The, oh, oh, okay. Here, I had it all upside down. Here's the camera, apparently. Okay. Camera's out. Is that it? Yeah, that should be it. Okay. You ready? Let's take a look. Very light, okay? And that's a good thing because my Canon with the teleprompter on it, that's really heavy. And it's on one of those good Elegato uh, stands. El, El Gato, Elegato. Um, so it's really stable, but, it, you know, it'll, it'll be nice to have a lighter camera up there. All right, there it is. Uh, hey, can you say thumbnail? Uh, that's the privacy cap that I guess just pops off. Yeah, just snaps off. Okay. Very nice looking. And then it comes with its included base here, which I guess is, is really not very good. Any of these bases, you know, they're really just not. Okay, you need to replace them. And it looks like it's just a thumb screw type thing on the bottom. So we can unscrew it. And then we've got just a plain old standard tripod mount. So you can mount it on any kind of mounting thing you want. So this is the uh, camera. And then in the back we've got our USB connection for the cord that I just showed you. A little technical information on the bottom. And yeah, so there it is. Uh, Elgato Prime Lens. Okay. Okay. So what have I got here? Ooh. Lots of goodies today, huh? Okay. And listen, in addition to a short, maybe you want to know more about this stuff. If you do, let me know. Put it in the comments. Okay, here you can see it. Uh, it's just easier to look up top you can see the wave 3 
Premium Microphone and Digital Mixing Solution by Elgato. Okay, this is the Wave 3 microphone. All right, there it is. Now, I bought a kit, and I don't know if it's all in this box or if part of it's in the other box. Uh, I bought a kit that comes with a bunch of accessories. It comes with uh, a shock mount and a pop filter and things like that. So this is the premium microphone and digital mixing solution by Elgato. Superior circuitry, anti-clipping, zero latency, uh, multifunctional control dial, capacitive mute sensor, internal pop filter, plus I have the external one, modular mount support, in the box is the Wave 3, the USB cable, the desk stand, the boom arm adapter, and the quick start guide. And again, you see, they, they really are kind of shooting at a, a whole theme here to take over your entire studio in terms of doing your videos and streams and what have you. Um, because this box looks vaguely familiar, does it not? All right. Okay, so let's get this out of here. Take a look, see what we have here. And again, what I can do is once all this is set up, so you can specifically see it, maybe I can do a short little test clip of how I film and record now using the Canon and the, the Tonar mic. And then I can shoot a, a side by side using all the new stuff. Now, look, I'm not really trying. I love my quality. I think my quality is great. Uh, I'm trying to condense down and make it easier and still maintain my quality. If I can get an improvement, that'd be great, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, um, you know, trying to be a neater and more efficient with the stuff that I do. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's wait. What, what is this thing? This is uh, some kind of card. Download the Elgato Wavelink app to get started. And then it's got some things, so i got to keep that handy. All right, so let's get this open. Very neatly packaged. Very nice. I'm assuming this is the cord. Yep. And another one of these stupid books that you always just throw away. Okay, this must be the... Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is the adapter mount. So this will allow you to uh, attach this uh, to a boom or what have you. So we don't want to lose that. i throw that one away. And that away. And what is it? here this is a mess okay again nice long USB cord there's our connections on the ends that's a nice long cord that's fantastic okay take out the insert there it is okay let's just check the box Real quick for any other stuff. Yeah, there's. Is that something? No. Oh, that was it. That was the whole thing. Okay, not even a, a, an instruction book. I guess it all comes with the app. So. Right. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get this out here. So, um, 
it's beautiful very great look got a USB connection in the back and a headphone connection in the back it's on this little stand that allows you to pivot it and you know I'm, I'm wondering if maybe a stand instead of this big boom is the way to go and just have the mic right here when I'm doing audio I can have the mic just sitting off to the side just pull it out set it here and talk this is really unobtrusive so it's got uh, a multifunction button yeah see okay not only does it dial left and right it clicks and then it's got a light for your microphone headphones what looks like a crossover light some kind of other lights and here's your uh, mute button you just touch it and it'll mute your microphone and I'm assuming that that will sh indicate somehow that it you're muted but I'm not hating this stand I'm really not All right but there's more <laughs> yes there is more there's a big box don't go away all right so Let's go with the big big dog here. This is the Wave Mic Arm LP. Now, I've told you that Elgato makes some of the best uh, arms out there in the world, and I love those. I'll, I'll show you a picture of them. Let me let me do my math right here somewhere, right in here. I'll put a picture of the arms that I use a lot of. I've got like five of them or something like that. This is a whole different beast. We'll see how what we think about this. I don't know how this is going to play in. Sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. And if it doesn't work out, see if they'll re return it or exchange it for something else. And if they don't, then, you know, maybe you sell it on Marketplace or something. I don't know. Okay, so this is exactly kind of how I expected it to look. Super high quality. Here's the wave arm. And see, this is a uh, table clamp setup. So maybe that could be an interesting element where I could clamp that onto the table somewhere. Maybe rethink how this is done. Because I'll tell you what, Elgato's really good at this This kind of stuff. They, they really excel here. Yeah, keep that here. Okay, so here is the table clamp, and you can see this is this is no joke. Okay, this this is serious business, and this is how Elgato do. Okay, and so yeah, just and look at how wide you can go. Okay, you can clamp this to almost anything. Look at that heavy 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 okay so you got that got this little packet some sort of accessories we got what do we got here we got a an allen wrench something that looks like a lock nut and something that looks like a lock nut I'm gonna keep those in there so I don't lose them because I don't really know what they are okay put that back and then here's the arm let me okay so it's not gonna let me put this back thread it out of course so you can see this is a Sunday okay and you can see that this week I'm gonna have my hands full reworking stuff so here is the arm this is how it mounts onto where whatever surface you want and that's how long it is boy is that heavy heavy duty man this is nice all of my arms and stuff like that should be this nice it makes me want to rethink some stuff back in the box so that is the 
uh, the army. You see, this box is not so exciting. Okay. But it's 360 degree rotatable ball head, integrated cable management, adjustable joint tension, uh, supports quarter inch, three eighth, and five and eighths mounts. Um, yeah. So I, I'm not surprised by the quality of any of this, but I am surprised by things like this. So for example, um, this desktop stand, I really like this and I may try this first before mounting this on a boom. I don't know, but I really am enjoying the way this is working out. It feels very comfortable to me. I like it. Can't wait to see how this does. And uh, I'll take a picture and and share it right in here somewhere so you can see this compared to what I've been using and hopefully I get just a good quality in a much smaller easier to use package um, all in all I'd say this stuff is pretty fantabulous I'm very excited um, and hopefully it makes the production at least as good if not better but makes it a little easier and neater for me and my environment so, uh, okay, I'm going to get out of here. I, you see, I've got my work cut out for me. I've got a lot to do. I've got all this stuff to put together, um, wires to run, arms to mount, things to do. i got stuff to do. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here, and this week will probably be all dedicated to kind of revamping things. Um, and then we'll, maybe I'll do that short that I was talking about and, and let you see uh, how things look in the new setup. If you want to see that, make sure you put it in the comments down below. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my tech videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and especially if you have any thoughts on all of this, I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so that is going to do it. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying... Be good.